the elephant in the room is the Arabverse connection or lack thereof. Um, what was it? Sam got two sentences and looking up towards the sky and then we were right back to the plot and that was it. Mm, yeah. Um, the first, Arrowverse outsider. Let me uh, let me get my thought out of the way because it's not. Yeah, yeah. Um, I thought it was so clunky. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Like I know they just threw that in. It was so unnatural to me. Even as an outsider, I was like, he said that, and I was like, that's it. That's how they're gonna explain this away. I don't know. I thought it was a little lazy, but I know their hands are tied. I know there's only so much they could do, but like. There could have been a better line of dialogue to mm -hmm. sneak that into other than that very clunky monologue. <laughs> yeah, no, what's that meme in it? Two months exposition. That's exactly what it felt like. Uh, it's like we have to tell people this and we don't know how, but we'll use Sam to do it. No, no, if, no on a di dialogue point, I know I've, I've rewatched it back and tried to just take myself out and think, what would the average viewer think when watching that? And I was like, that's still a badly written line. It just yeah, here's it, your it, average it, viewer. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, I don't know. No. And I just praised that other scene from the episode. And my biggest issue with the episode was that kid next. So I was trying to watch this goosebump and do see moment with this in the back of my mind. And it didn't work uh, that that soured the rest of the finale for me because like I said I really enjoyed it as an episode um, so we asked to anyone who doesn't understand what that meant Sam Lane said to his uh, grandsons that uh, there are other worlds out there I've seen legions of super leagues of superheroes and uh, across every earth but on this earth we only have your father and he's the best of them all and yes that was a reference to Earth Prime's uh, Justice League, uh, which consists of the likes of The Flash, Batwoman, uh, Supergirl, um, well, formerly The Green Arrow, and of course, Tyler Hecklin, Superman. But now we've learned that the Tyler Hecklin, Superman, the Bitsy Tullock, Lois Lane, the Jenna, Dewan, Luce, Lucy Lane, and the John, or David Ramsey, John Diggle that we met on the first three on Supergirl and the other one on Arrow, those versions of those characters are not the same ones we met in Superman at Lois why we had two seasons to tell us that 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 didn't sit right with me it felt like they were trying to capitalize on a really popular product here and that superman project does not need to capitalize on that kind of property it was disrespectful to supergirl for introducing superman lois and uh, lucy it was disrespectful to arrow for introducing john Diggle. it's disrespectful to the whole universe Every, as we go on crisis on infinite earth ages so pearly because it was designed to create a new arrowverse to bring black lightning and supergirl onto the same earth as all the rest of the shows and then black lightning and supergirl and batwoman and legends have all ended leaving only the flash and superman at lois and now we learned that that superman that's part of earth prime is also not the same superman and superman at lois which means superman and lois had baby jonathan on supergirl and then after Crisis rewrote everything, we find out that they had the boys. Yes, honey, your sons, as Lois said. So now Earth Prime Superman has twin boys, which aren't the same twin boys we met in Superman at Lois. Why rewrite all that just to change it later in the game? Why does Earth Prime Superman not have baby Jonathan anymore? Because that was clearly setting up Superman at Lois. And somewhere along the line, someone's looked at Superman at Lois and said, you know what, let's separate it from the rest of the world. And because they've been so like secretive about it, it works, but it's disrespectful. It's unnecessary. And it means that the Arrowverse is dying a lot quicker than we thought it would. Because once the Flash goes, there is no linear Arrowverse show left. Stargirl sat on Earth 2 and uh, Superman at Lois is sat on who knows what Earth. But the Justice League of Earth Prime that we learned about, all of them will be gone after the Flash ends. And that to me does not sit right. And it soured what I, I thought was a fantastic finale. It really hurts my brain. <laughs> <laughs> Mine too. <laughs> it, it hurts it my hurt, heart. It hurts theirs as well. I don't know about the heart, but the brain. Um, the I was bothered by it because they could have, I mean, that was a line that, that he could have said at the beginning of the season and it would not have mattered. Um, I just, if it hadn't, if it hadn't been teased that they were going to have a connection uh, to the Arrowverse in the season two finale, I don't think I would have been as bothered by it. Like, it's one of those things like, oh, they said that. Well, that was rather poor. Hopefully they do something better in season three. I, if, 
if the Arrowverse is dead, then it's dead. But like, I don't like how it has been, like how they're laying it in the grave. It feels like they're tossing it six feet deep and like um, wanna just wash their hands of it, which is not, it's really disrespectful <laughs> to um, what came before, but also it's still people in tights, y'all. The, the tone is just different. Like Superman and Lois is not simply superior because it takes itself more seriously than say Legends and the Flash did, whoever, whoever who been goofy. Um, goofiness is fun. Seriousness is, it can, can be fun and compelling and, and um, really have you tuning in. I don't see why one is better than the other. It all just comes down to personal taste. I'm personally someone who enjoys both. Uh, and I think that it's not that, oh, we're going to get a much better superhero television now that Superman and Lois are around and DC wants to elevate what they bring to the CW. And it's like, mm, y'all the same people that were really enjoying The Flash in its first seasons and Arrow in its first seasons. Like, just because we're a, a decade past now, let's not be brand new and mm -hmm. pretend like we weren't, like you weren't enjoying the shows before um because they didn't have the same tone as Superman and Lois um and they were still drawing huge audiences I mean that's why um Comic-Con was the place to be uh once Arrow was on and Flash was on and they were doing all these crossovers did it get messy at the end does is it nonsensical now uh does it have a lot of issues with it sure but that's the truth that's the true about any show that goes past at least like four seasons if they didn't have a plan going forward um and the flash is showing signs of that um and has been for since season four in my opinion um and the finale did not help that <laughs> so i guess we can we can let superman and lois lie for right now um, we'll give it a little break but we'll be back to it later <laughs> yeah because we want we want so much for, for it and that airverse connection wasn't it that wasn't i mean i'm not no it just wasn't, it wasn't. <laughs> yeah, there's, <laughs> a better, there, there's a better way to do that i feel yeah. like just from like a writing perspective <laughs> not even as like a fan perspective like there could have been a much more brief aside like what about Kara? and they were just like oh she's not on this earth perfect great oh maybe not mm -hmm. perfect but like that would have been for me better than sam screaming and going off about that <laughs> as boats are falling out of the sky yeah yes <laughs> just mention Kara once please um like i just don't it doesn't mean that melissa's coming just tell us the the uh just say her name it just seems odd that mm -hmm. they won't reference the other super. Um, I know I just said that we were going to leave Superman and Lois alone, but that one, that one more note, to, like just, yeah. <laughs> it's the biggest. That's the it's understandable. <laughs> yes, mention her, mention her, girl. <laughs>